Tough words today from the president of Ukraine, Petro Poroshenko, vowing to reassert control over the country's eastern region, where fighting with Russian-backed rebels has reached a new level of intensity around the strategic city of Donetsk. New video shows the airport in Donetsk after being pounded by artillery. Ukrainian troops have now recaptured most of the devastated facility. In Kiev, the president led thousands on a peace march to an outdoor service honoring 13 people killed when a bus was hit by a shell at an army checkpoint. Officials blame the separatists. Now, keeping watch on the Russian military in the Black Sea off Ukraine, the Canadian warship HMCS Toronto. The frigate was on a risky patrol but is now safely back home, sailing into Halifax Harbour today, where loved ones gathered to greet the sailors. CTV's Kellen Sundahl reports on the mission and the emotional welcome home. Some things never change. Loved ones have been away at sea. Christmas and birthdays missed. Babies born. Now they're home. It's been a long wait. I've been counting down the days on my calendar, and I just, seeing that ship over there, I just get so excited. We know he's in good company, and they're skilled, so I don't worry about him that way. Just weeks ago, the ship was in the Black Sea monitoring Russian military activity. There was no direct confrontation, but there was some nerve-wracking close contact. So the aircraft were uh, tracked on our systems here in the front row electro-optically. The frigate's radar detected two Russian fighter jets just 300 metres away. Although the planes were unarmed, their presence put the Canadians on high alert. Uh, it's fairly close for, uh, for this type of interaction. Toronto was the first Canadian warship in the Black Sea in 22 years. HMCS Fredericton has taken up the Canadian role with NATO in the Mediterranean region. What's next for the Toronto crew is unknown. Today, it is about enjoying the moment. Hi, buddy. Uh, miss me? Over and over again. I'm coming He's home. home. He's coming home. Master seaman Kurt Shepard met his daughter for the first time. I got woken up early and uh, got told my wife was on the way to the hospital, so I phoned right away. And... Uh, Less than an hour later, the baby was there. I was ever so proud of this crew. They've done an outstanding job. And the reward for doing it is oh, so sweet. <laughs> Kellen Sundahl, CTV News, Halifax.